hello everyone and in this video i'm gonna show you how you can capture screenshots and save it in png format using c plus plus or c now before we get into it i just want to mention that i have just released the new update of my game pixelated flight it's a simple game if you're bored you can play that and if you have it already in your devices make sure you update it and if you don't have it then go ahead and download it right now so let's get started now the first thing we got to do is we have to add two linkers to our program now go ahead to tools and compiler options and over here you can add dash lg di plus and dash l g di 32 so once you add those two things over there you can hit enter or you can press on ok and um, now we'll head to the program so over here we have included windows.h and our stream and ponyo.h for others get c h and gdi plus dot h so we are using namespace std and we are using namespace gdi plus and remember the g in gdi plus is capital so yeah don't mess it up now we'll need an helper function so if you are in c don't forget to declare the function before defining it and if you are in c plus plus you can just follow me int get an order clsid and we'll need first parameter as fonts w char star and we're gonna name it format and second parameter will be clsid pointer pclsid now in the function will return minus one on fail and before that we'll define u int and we'll call it num and set it equal to zero and we'll define one more u int and call it size and we'll set it equal to zero as well now after that we'll create an object of image codec info and that's gonna be a pointer then we'll name it something i will call it p image and i will set it equal to null now we'll use a function called get image encoder size and we'll pass in num and then we'll pass in the size and we'll check if the size is equal to zero then we'll return minus one because we failed so after that we'll set the image equal to then we'll pass in an explicit as image codec info star and we'll call a function called m hello and we'll pass in the size and we'll check if p image equals null will return minus one again because we failed now we'll use a function called get image encoders and we'll pass in num then size then p image and then we'll make a for u and j equals zero and j is smaller than num and increment j before and in that loop we'll check if wcs form is equal to zero so this is just for comparing to w char string so we'll just go p image j dot m i m e type and format if it's zero then we'll set p c l s i d equal to p image j dot c l s i d after that we'll free p image and we'll return j and over here after the for loop we'll again call free p image now this function will help us get the encoder of the image file so this will help us for encoding the bitmap data as png or jpeg and this function is also from windows documentation so i have not written this this is just their function which is useful over here so you can go ahead and compile it and check if there is any error as you can see there is none so if you made it all here then we can continue in our main function in our main function we'll create an object of hdc and we'll name it hdc screen and we'll set it equal to get dc and null this will give us the device context of our screen after that we'll make a new hdc object which we'll name as hdc mem dc and we'll set it equal to create compatible dc and we'll pass in our hdc screen after that we'll create object of h bitmap 
and we'll name it hbm screen and we'll set it equal to null after that we'll initialize our gdi plus so we'll create an object of gdi plus startup and we'll name it gdi after that we'll create a u long underscore ptr and we'll name it gdip token and then we'll call a function called gdr plus startup and in that function we'll pass in our u long ptr which is gdip token and our gdi plus startup input which is gdip and null so once we start up the gdi we can capture the screenshot now to capture the screenshot we'll set hbm screen equal to create compatible bitmap and we'll pass in the hdc screen then the width of the image that you would like to have so we'll create 200 and the height of the image will be 400 and you can set this to any value you want unless it doesn't exceed the length and the height of your screen so if it's under it, then you are good now we can use select object function to select the bitmap in hdc mem dc and we'll pass in the hbm screen now once you do that you can use bit blt to transfer the image data from screen to our memory so BLT and the destination HDC which is HDC mem DC and the start X coordinate so we'll pass in 0 and 0 or we can just pass in 10 and 10 so this will be the start coordinates which means it will be somewhere from here to somewhere here according to the height and width so we can pass in the width which is 200 and height which is 400 and then we'll pass in the source which is HDC screen and then this two can be zero which are the offsets and we can pass the mode which is src copy now our memory dc has the data of the image so we can create an object of cls id we can name it anything i will name it encoder id and now we can call our helper function which is get encoder cls id so over here we'll pass in w char pointer which is w string so we will put an l before our double quotes and we'll pass an image slash png to save the image in png format and we'll pass in our encoder id and over here you can use image slash jpeg and some other types which are supported by your device so for this video i'm gonna save it as png and after that we'll create an object of bitmap and we'll call it bmp and we'll set it equal to new bitmap we'll pass in h bm screen which has our image data because we have selected it over here so after that we can give an explicit of a palette and we can give zero now after this we can save the image so bmp and pointer arrow and we can call the save function and um, in over here we can give l and then our double quotes and this will be the storage location of the image so i have storage location of d colon slash slash stuff so you can see that i have some stuff over here and the location is d colon slash stuff so we'll go ahead and type that over there d colon slash slash stuff and slash slash the name of the file so we can go ahead and name it as image of green dot png so i'm saving it as png over here you can see that image slash png so you have to give the same extension and this will be the file name and then we can pass in the encoder which is and encoder id after that we can pass in null so once we do our capturing and all stuff we have to free the memory and delete the objects which we have created so first we'll shut down our gdi plus so we'll call gdi plus 
shut down and we'll pass in our token which is gdip token and also we don't need the start so we'll just go ahead and delete that because we haven't used it over here and uh, once we shut down the gdr plus we can delete the normal gdr object which are our hdc memdc and hbm screen and we can release dc the hdc screen so we'll quickly do that delete object hbm screen and we'll copy it and we'll change the variable to hdc mem dc we'll release dc null then hdc screen now we can go ahead and compile this to check if there are any errors and uh, over here you can see there is no file named image of screen so after we run this you can see that there is this file file saved called image of screen and you can open it and you can see that the image has been captured so you can play with this values you can do 0 0 and um, you can go 700 700 700 700 and um, we'll just change the name by bit so it won't override okay that's not by a bit that's a lot but still we'll compile it run it and we'll press get ch and we'll close the window and you can see that there is an image which is the capture of our desktop so that's it and i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video and if you like the video then don't forget to press that like button and also if you're not subscribed then consider subscribing and um, if you can see the video on your screen make sure you click that because that's the most recommended for you and bye bye